are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. Last time when we left off, <clears throat> we had just survived the restaurant explosive trap, and we had arrived at Punchinello Manor, which is more or less halfway through the game. So I figure a second sitting, we should be able to finish it pretty easily. Um, one thing I would like you to talk to me about, let me know how the audio levels are, particularly vis-a-vis -vis my voice, through the microphone, because I don't know if you noticed, old and busted headset with the tape is gone, new headset's in full effect, and it doesn't even have, like, an analog mic that comes around here. It just listens to my voice, so I might need to turn up the microphone pickup in order to get back to optimal levels. I'm not entirely sure, so pay attention to that. Let me know if you think I should adjust it up or adjust it down or whatever. Let's fire up Max Payne. A bit of an echo. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to do to get rid of an echo. Somebody who knows the best way around that, chime in here. In the meantime... There, I tried turning it down. Did that help with the echo? Anyway, it's super easy to adjust. I just have volume knob and microphone volume knob like dials in my hand that actually work. So just tell me how it all works. It's pain! Hey, it's Hedness, how are you? Resume game. Chapter 5, Angel of Death. Should drop us right at the entrance to Punchinello Manor where we left off. Soon. Uh, no, Martin, this is the new headset. Mm -hmm. I have it up and running. That's why I was concerned about the levels, and am concerned about the levels, so let me know if... Oh my gosh, a subscription from the number one Reaper. Thank you so much, my friend. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, and there's a shotgun to the face. Forgot to save after this. Alrighty. Much better. Still got another batter. There now. <clears throat> All righty. There's no game audio? Oh, shoot, you're right. So there's no game audio for anybody? Because I hear it just fine, but yeah, you're right, it is not showing up on the stream. Oh, it's because I have not flagged my new device. Excuse me. 
Let's do that. Okay. Now let's try it again. There! All my bars are back. Everything should be fun. Alright, let's just load the autosave then so everybody can hear the cutscene properly. In death, the thug had been promoted to messenger. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. Excellent. All right. Ooh, that sucked. Yeah, no, we ain't doing that. I hate about that life. That was a waste. It's all right, though. There he is. Oh. 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 Hmm. I'll take it. I don't mind. There are worse things than taking a couple of hits. <clears throat> No more duct tape. Yes. Hey, Lost Primeval. How's everyone doing? No more duct tape. Better quality sound. Oh, this is such a relief for me. Mm. And off we go. Hey, Apathem. So the sequels are not as good? Hey, GGA Steven. Um, I, do, I haven't played the sequels, but I heard they were both actually really good. I just haven't played them. <clears throat> so we're all enjoying the new headset, not just me, because let me be clear. I am loving the new headset. Definitely is a change. Well, is it good or bad? I need to know. Just like, because you know, it's a, it's a bit of a touch and go, trial and error kind of thing, just to set levels on a new headset correctly. So, this headset is a Hyper S uh, Cloud Revolver S. It didn't take me long to run into the trio. The word on Lisa Puccinello is that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Puccinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him.
Boy, that did not go well. Let's try a different weapon. Let's try our dual Ingrams. Ooh, wait, no, our Colt Commando. That's not going well. You like the Finito Brothers. Pain to the max! Alright. Bunch of Ingram ammo right back in here. I'm gonna want that. <clears throat> it really is lovely to get rid of the duct tape and just have a headset on that actually fits me. I believe that's Gus. Whoa! Somebody threw a grenade I didn't notice. Alright. 
let's wait up on this. Hey, Hunty Twitch Daddy, how are you? next guy in the trio. Why the hell is he so hard to kill? Now I understand. Good lord. Hold on, hold on, don't shoot dodge. Alright, well, I guess shoot dodge. I'm just drinking cheap champagne today. Uh, wait on a little healing. Alright, that's two of the trio down and one to go. There we go. Fuck you, buddy. Ooh, N79. Now I have a grenade launcher. Yes, Corbell. Let's do better with that. Come on, Max. Too late for her. You're a real angel, Max. 
I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. It got me thinking about a fallen cradle. Finally, what? Plans for New Year's Eve. Well, I'm actually working during the day, but Tiffany and I have a party to go to that night. And the office is closed New Year's Day, so I can get drunk because I want to at the party, which is lovely. We still haven't killed the third trio member. Max Payne. Talk to me. Alfred Wooden. You've got company. An armed helicopter just landed oh, on the manor the grounds. Music. Gotcha. You must hurry. The more the merrier. Alfred Wooden. That's that's all of Punchinello's trio. Oh. Punchinello's trio was done for. Over. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. Ah, yes, here it comes. I told him nothing. Oh. I forgot I actually have to do that fight. I thought we were full cutscene mode. No, I told them nothing. getting ammo for it, we should use the Colt Commando. A bit closer to heaven. Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me a cold steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The 
floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. The flesh of fallen angels. The nightmares in this game spooked me back in the day. staring at me. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel, funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. <laughs> I love these letters. <clears throat> More tender is shiny stuff and dreams are made of stupid necromancers. He sings like a banana wrist having strayed too close to the constellations on their shaved skulls. The there was a bad line in the prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. Look, he's holding a gun. An overwhelming sense of deja vu. The caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Piece of paper looked dangerous. <laughs> Remember this one too. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air, glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. <laughs> Don't lose it. It's Valkyr. The drug. Snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Now it's time for the infamous blood trail maze. Or close to it anyway. Even worse, Max. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
right, Max? You're in a computer game that's being streamed for the entertainment of strangers. Ten of them, to be precise. Here it is. This nonsense. I do not remember the actual way through this, by the way. So, we are actually playing a maze here, if you're curious. Shit, fell. <clears throat> yeah, the baby shrieks are no good. Although, <coughs> you know, it's not like the sobbing wife really does a lot for me either. Never really been a big fan of tears, like in most of any context. They're just not good. Ooh. Not good for my mojo. Ooh. Oh shit, I see something. But I need you to jump when I push the space bar, Max. There you go. Max, for fuck's sake. I mean, I get that this is actually symbolic of his struggle not to die from the V overdose, but come on. Why can we not jump? Nope, we sure can't. I guess that's just a set piece. I have a feeling it means we're going the right way. At least it's not first person platforming. Yeah, that'd be truly miserable. And it's just annoying how easy it is to fall down, like when you're literally just trying to turn a corner or something. It, you know, your your controls get all janked to keep you in, like, the sort of perpetual slow motion, but, like, not completely. Like, your side-to-side -side is way faster than your front-to-back, so turning corners ends up being, like, an a, like a absurdly risky exercise. I guess the best thing to do is probably to only turn with the mouse and just move. shit. That's a dead end. I thought we were getting somewhere when I saw that set piece with the crib, but apparently not. Oh, 
Oh, the sound is so good. So good. Max. Sometimes he just, like, doesn't want to jump. Like, he's just flat out refusing to jump here for some reason. For reasons unknown. Max suddenly can't jump. Okay, see, now he can. Okay, maybe that's what happened earlier. Maybe I am supposed to jump to the crib. He is able to jump, so that's something. Oh, and then suddenly he's not. So I have to time it exactly right. I feel like that's probably another bug, to be honest, but... Like, why the hell can he not jump? I didn't want you to dodge roll. Not even remotely what I wanted, dude. So it's like, why can he suddenly not jump? Yeah, I think it's a bug too, but it's not a bug I'm entirely sure how to fix. But maybe, like, he'll jump other directions, so... Like, maybe if I launch at a diagonal, I can get him onto the platform. There we go! Max! No! Three a bit closer to heaven. Chapter one. Take me to cold steel. The green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to Cold Steel Foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood. Adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering out the bill roof in ice and snow and wild wind. I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman on kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. couple of emails that we're in a new part, so everything has reset. Ammo, health, all that jazz, as I just want to do. There are a few things going on. I apologize, I'll be right back. I mean, I'm not leaving the chair or anything, you know what I mean. Oops. Yeah, 
Okay, we got a baseball bat, a lead pipe, and a single Beretta. Presumably the mystery witch disarmed us. <clears throat> I believe those are proximity mines that we can shoot. Yes. Can't seem to get under there. Parade. The storm was anything but over. Grenade! Sniper rifle, painkillers, Colt Commando ammo. I have a feeling we're going to need this sniper rifle. Commando, that's what we're talking about. I've really not been making very good use of all the grenades and molotovs and the like that it gives me. Fuck. That was not good. It's amazing how unforgiving this game is, even on the least hard difficulty. But it's, uh, it, it's actually one of those games that, like, the designers intended for you to die and reload a bunch of times, you know? Good lord. Success. this stream lasts long enough, you'll mix some white Russians. I'm of the opinion that you should mix those white Russians now. If they're good, if they're gonna be good later, they'll be good now. Like, what? Back me up, chat. 
But unless you're literally at the office or something. Oh shit. Fuck off. I love that suddenly the enemies are dropping Colt Commando ammo. This is definitely the best gun. That sucked. I thought for sure the prox mine would do something for me. Got one of them anyway. Need to explore the rest of this room first. Including the top level. I swear to god my phone does, but there's nothing there. Okay. I mean, good. this room first. Can't actually seem to do anything in here. Well, maybe we can. Oh, yes. Goody. Goody, goody. I, I love platform. Oh, let's cheat. has cheating sound, instead of doing what the designers wanted. Holy cow! Oh shit, his grenade made it through that time.
Oh. He's dead already. Whoops. Oh well. I just wasted a single shoot dodge worth of bullet time. That's not so bad. Sorry, Martin. Sorry, I just need a second. How do they know it's pain? They sleep with their rifles. I bet they've given them names. I guess. So, you don't have a name for your gun? <laughs> Hello? Hell no. You do? Well, yeah, kind of. Hey, let's hear it. Well, I call it Dick Justice. I rest my case. Oh, wait, shoot. I don't want to go to chapter two yet. and vanish into the night. I was so close, the hidden truths were just around the corner. There we go. Chapter 2, Hidden Truths. Alright, Lost Primeval. Enjoy your dinner. Thanks for watching. The mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up in cell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway.
Bam! That was terrible. Go back and get that ammo. That was not good. Let that settle out a minute.
Mmm. N79. Excuse me. I did not realize what was happening there. Until it was a little too late. It's alright though. Fresh round of ammo and painkillers. I know, Tiff. These head, the new headset is really amazing. I'm such a huge fan. I picked it myself, but you know, thank Mama Witsit for making the purchase for Christmas. Yeah, I thought that the constant fuckery probably had a lot to do with trying to do wireless, so I went ahead and went with a wired headset again. And then went for sound quality reviews specific to streaming, and this is what came up as very likely to be the best choice. So I am hoping you all are enjoying it as much as I am, because it is a hefty upgrade, to be sure. There you go. It's the Hyper S Cloud Revolver X, and I'm pretty darn sure, because I'm I'm using the one that's called USB microphone, and this is the only one that's wired in with a USB. But it's not, you know, it's not like a traditional analog, it's like a, a pickup that's also set in the headpiece, which is why you're all able to hear the ambient noises, like the dogs and whatnot, so well when they happen. The monitor showed me the way. I think, anyway. It's possible I'm wrong. But I don't think so. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens. All but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens, in the core of the plant. One thing I'm considering, I've done a little research into it, you can tell me your thoughts on this. I've been thinking of uh, actually getting a desk microphone separate from the headset, because I think you can get much, much better microphone quality if you go that way. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the idea of Echo, so 
I'm gonna turn the levels down a little and you just tell me what you think. So I just turned the I turned the mic pickup down a little bit, so let me know how that sounds. I guess that's why I got the M79 ammo. Maybe I can just do it with my baseball bat. It's that way. Need to replenish my bullet time, so we need to try for a few full motion kills. No, a desk bike wouldn't be in my way. I could just set it like front and center, you know, and do the mouse and keyboard around it. So, Maya, since you have one, tell me, is the, uh, is the sound quality significantly higher than, uh, using a headset mic like I've heard? Give a guy a second. Go, go, go. Oh, Lord, come on. Seriously, can I have a fucking second?
Alright, come on now. Onward, team. Oh, I never actually hit the shutoff valve, did I? Oh no, I did. I think the whole po I think the whole point of that was to get to that guy's little ammo stash. Which I'm fine with, by the way. Good lord. And we found D6. Here we go. I didn't realize what was happening. Perfect. Down we go. <sighs> Chapter 3, The Deep Six. I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe, or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. Following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. No, DJ, I'm on least hard. I'm on fugitive. I can't do this. My men are still inside. Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? Laboratories, test facilities, processing is I'd open. I've seen the logo on the floor before. There was an old army bunker under the steel mill. I knew the military plaque on the floor. I had seen a thousand variations of the insignia on crumbling brick walls everywhere in the city. The sword replaced by a syringe. Project Valhalla, V for Valkyr, V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. Thank <laughs> you. 
processing one. Processing two. Can't go that way. All right. case. The door code was a mystery to me. Um, laboratories? No, let's go to the test subject cells first. Pin required. Seven. Well, that's not going to be the pin, is it? Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. Six, six, five. The chemist had been using the workstation when he died. The half-life of the lab rat had ended online, his password blinking on the screen. 665. The neighbor of the beast. 665. There we go. Oh, wait. I want the door code. I thought I was just gonna let a dude out of there. Airlock control. I suppose I am gonna go let a dude out of there. Yeah, okay. Gotta go right at that elevator. Chemist is in B7, if I remember right. Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Proceed hey, to the nearest here. exit hey, immediately. I'm in it. Out. Yeah, that's our guy. I wear a leather jacket in real life. Wait, block A. Is 
Settle down, dude. I'm taking my time. You never know where the goodies are gonna be. leaving. Beer, good. I was caught in the middle of the deadly web that was the Valkyr case. logo on the screen. Hmm. Top secret. Project Valhalla. U.S. Army. Yggdrasil Network. Valhalla. The otherworldly place in Norse mythology where the bravest heroes spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever. Their wounds miraculously... Southern Guard, you mean? ...night after night. Valkyr. The maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991, the research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995, results unsatisfactory. Project canceled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized. Project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance read. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How to turn off that small voice inside your head that started to whisper that you should be glad that now, if not before, your revenge was justifiable on any conceivable moral scale. That small voice proved, beyond any doubt, that I was damned. 
Your revenge was justifiable. A dagger healed woman had come and gone a long time ago. There was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as a self-fulfilling prophecy. Your revenge is justified on any conceivable moral scale. Absolutely. I can hit the proximity mines somehow. Oh, okay. I gotta be out of the way of the door when I do, though. I see. stand on the grate. We piece together a jigsaw and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle. A mad, green-eyed killer standing behind you. An urban legend come true. The Project Valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones. The rest was simple body count math. It all pointed to her, Ms. Valkyr. The factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me. All my leads were dead, turned to smoke and dust. I had lost my way. I hadn't slept in a million years. Chapter 4, Backstabbing Bastard. I felt thin as death. I've been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard shift. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else. Any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. Bad things happened in the night. On the streets of that other city. Noir York City. I was in an all-night diner, downing cup after cup of coffee that tasted like engine oil, when a new message from BB got me back on the killer track. What the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Maxie, I'm going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through, come up with a plan. 2.30 a.m., the choir communications garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame-up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match. 
all way beyond a cop's pay. Maxie. Losing Suave Charm, he was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that. Have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxie, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge. You have no idea. I think I do. You're a bribe taken bent cop who sold out his partner. Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. Up close and personal. You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. BB turned out to be another cardboard cutout bad guy. Bad cop on the take. A cowardly right-hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work. Oh, that sucked. I remember this level. This level's hard. If memory serves. I too would prefer System Shock 3, but I think we're a ways away from that one. Let's use some Ingrams. Fuck me. Parking level five. So you get a nice, uh, you at least get a nice tip off of how much farther down you still have to go. Valkyr.
I don't trust anybody to remake Thief. Good lord. Okay. I love how it actually like makes a sound like candy rattling every time you pop painkillers. <clears throat> I already I already played Thief Gold on Twitch, DJ Steven. Iron Man mode. That was a fun day too. Man, imagine being one of the randos just getting caught in the crossfire. All these explosions and gunshots going off in a friggin' parking garage. It's 2.30 a.m. You've been out of the bar. You're just trying to get home. It's like, oh, surprise, buddy. Explosions. Bullets. Death. That's better. I can accept that. Okay, that was unacceptable. Total fail. It's what the kids call epic fail. Made it to parking level three.
That did not go well at all. Really needed to quick save. There we go. Fuck off. Need to get that guy on the left before he gets his grenade away. Full heal, let's take a break. Say game. Come on now. Some shit's just cheesy. Trying to gank me right after a cutscene. That qualifies. Every so often it does something a little cheesy like that. Souls. completely in love with it, but I'll take it. Uh 
how do we get back out? Oh, right through there. Easy enough. That's level two. I believe we're almost to the ground level now. Ah yes, Jack Hammer. That is your auto shotgun. It's a hell of a weapon. I believe that's what BB was carrying too. Oh. Forgot which way the bad guys have gone. BB. Let's wait to heal up and uh, try for a. I almost want to try for a sniper rifle kill. Since he's holed up behind cover over there with his automatic shotgun jackhammer. Kind of silly the way that the boss characters do get turned into bullet sponges. Started to ring. Still, fuck you, BB. We've avenged Alex. Chapter 5 in the Land of the Blind. Near the end now. For me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years. This may be the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. 
The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. Hey, Nyron, how's it going? It was an impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me. From an app, nice. Yes, Nyren, you'll notice there's no, uh, there's no duct tape. I have a completely new headset. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he'd pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap.
Skippy. Max Payne, I'm playing it like the PC version, which is what it originally came out on. I bought it through Steam, and I had to install a sound patch. But... Yeah, no, you don't have to emulate Max Payne, it was a PC game to start with. Yeah, they sell it on Steam and GOG. Um, the Steam version, which is what I got, you have to install a sound patch to get everything to work right. But other than that, yeah, it works fine. And what is your answer to those saying that he is actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. Mm. I love Max Payne. I think this game is awesome. Always have. We're near the end now. We're about, we're halfway through part three, so. A videotape lay on the desk. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. And I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was. <laughs> oh, back me a present. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. Done this in a while. I don't want you to shoot dodge, Max. Uh, 
fair. I am not used to options. Not cruel, we just have to make sure we save so we actually hit the ball. Dude, those were just ammo pickups. excited. Like, I saw it just right before it exploded, but way too late to do anything about it. I feel certain I can hit that thing. Maybe not. I felt so sure I could.
Chapter 6, Byzantine Power Game. I dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me. Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose. Circle had quite a track record. Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the Inner Circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say I was sorry. The Orton's move and some Byzantine power game had cut the Circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess, too. Before going any farther, I have a pile up of some real work emails, so I actually like have to go make a phone call. I'll be back five, ten-ish minutes. I do apologize.
And back. Thank you all so very much for your patience. I'm sorry, one more thing, I need to hit the restroom. <laughs> I realized that <laughs> as soon as I sit down. Now we're back for real. Sorry about that. Oh, damn. Is it like bouncing back up or something? Let's do it this way. I think he killed himself.
Enough of this. I'm a little fed up with this Asgard building nonsense. Wow. I missed like two whole pages of chat. I guess that makes sense. I took kind of a long break, but... Give them a whirl. Oh, fuck me. Too many options, I'm getting confused. Oh, 
Oh, we've been this way. This is old territory. Okay. This must be the way to go then. where we dove out. All right. talking about Indiana Jones. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try and catch up on that. Hey, we can get out. Chapter 7, nothing to lose. We're close now. Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the city in the snow. There was no hurry. I knew what I had to do now. I took my time thinking about it, building up the rage. When I was ready, I parked the stolen wheels at the front entrance of the Acer Corporation headquarters. Got out, got in, got cracking. I had a bullet with Nicole Horn's name on it. I had 10,000 bullets with the hag's name on them. She had ultra-high-tech security systems, enough mercenaries and weaponry to start World War III. There was no fear. New York disappeared behind a veil of snow. I had crossed the threshold. This was her domain, sleek and sexy and soulless, all glass and steel. A place of color-coded security key cards, metal detectors, and surveillance systems. up there with M79s.
I didn't get him. What the hell? Gotta get that headshot, I reckon. Okay, you can buy some time by backing all the way up. They'll eventually hit you, but... Right, two down, one to go. Ah, oh, it's hitting that girder. Decent amount of jackhammer ammo too, which is really good. Well, actually.
just because I hate leaving those undetonated. And I know there's an extra grenade, like, right here. There we go. Go through there. Not yet. I feel like the game's giving us a hint. And I'd be wrong. I think we just have to try and dodge the lasers. One of the elevators is online. One wonders why, but I'll take it. Hey, Lone Wonder. I feel like it's been a little bit since we saw you. How are you, my friend? We're playing Max Payne. Mona, looking good. Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. It will be a cold day in hell before I let a narc cop stop me. Miss Sachs, do your job. Relax, Max. You're a nice guy. I don't kill nice guys. You're not bad yourself. It was different when Horn wanted Punchinello dead. To cut her ties to the Mafia, he deserved to die. The same goes with her. She's the bad guy here. Her sister was whispering to her in my favor. I knew the appetites of ghosts intimately. They hungered for revenge. No! A gunshot boomed and she fell down in slow motion. She was a nice girl. Not really a stone cold killer. And now she was stone cold dead. If religious fanatics or loyal samurai horns, private army was coming at me. Request assistance. but no body. Something clicked for the final time. My mind had never been so clear. 
as if somewhere high above the storm clouds were already gone, cold stars blazing from the black skies. Getting white Russians? There you go. I've been saying you should do it for a while. Glad you're finally doing it. That's my boy. That's what we do on this stream. We drink heavily. Alright, so you can see there are lasers in the elevator. I think we have to try and dodge them. Oh, no, that's not even true. They're prox mines, we gotta gun them. There we go. That was close. Almost didn't clue in in time to what I was actually looking at. Oh, Lone Wonder, the new headset is fantastic. The not duct tape, the fact that it actually just fits on my head, nice and snug and perfect. Oh, it's wonderful. It's about time we tried out our jackhammer, I think. After all, we are at the end game. access to the mainframe. From there, I'd be able to override the security locks and get to her office. jumping after we survived that first gun volley. The unmarked chopper was Horn's pet guardian, inhuman and flawless. It was stalking me. Ironclad, my goodness. 
Has it already been seven months? That is insane. Thank you so much. So much, my friend. For the months of subs, for the viewership. It's great to have you here. Oh, damn. What's the secret here? Do I just blow shit up? Or is there a switch to push? I think I just blow shit up. Which I feel like using the weakest guns to do is probably a good plan. Although maybe I have to shoot the insides. Yes. As soon as I start, we're going to get more dudes. Fuck. Out of ammo. were off. The elevator would take me all the way up. Whoa! Where you at, bucko? Huh. 
Hiding in the elevator, of course. Seen from this height, the night seemed to stretch on to eternity. A hint of desperation had crept into the snowstorm, as if it was trying to get it all out before the end. personal computer was on. Next to the printer was a neat stack of expensive paper. Mm. Hacking through Horn's computer would have unearthed files of criminal plans, strategies for world domination, spy helicopter reports, illegal wiretap recordings, internet porno, all of the above. Take your pick. I really didn't care anymore. I had seen too much of it already. Chapter 8. Pain and Suffering. Valkyr had been meant to be a white-winged maiden that would lift you to a warrior's heaven, but it turned out to be a one-way demon ride to hell. The devil was in the drug. I knew. I had met him. And now I was going to kill her. The queen of the underworld who had tried to lift herself a bit closer to heaven with her drug money. No begging. No bribes. She knew better. Honor among killers. We who are about to die, both of us knew how this would end, in pain and suffering. All this because your wife stuck her nose into things that were none of her business. The cops were coming to take me away. The sirens were like a bad conscience I couldn't shake. It's ridiculous you've made it this far. You won't be alive when they get here. There we go. Oh, hi, sipping on bleach.
Yeah, no, I can't do anything to the chopper. That's kind of what I thought. How do we get out of this room? Oh, I don't know. None of the panels seem to do anything. Mm. Well, I tried shooting back and it just exploded on the glass like that. So I don't think that's gonna do the trick. I shoot it enough times it leaves. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Max Payne, you are fighting a losing battle. You cannot survive this. You will die. Stop fighting. Make it that was a mistake. Max Payne, you, you are fighting a losing battle. You cannot survive this. You will die. Stop fighting. Make it easy for yourself. Accept your fate. Thought I had made an unsalvageable save for a second there. Ooh, fancy library. Come on. Quit doing me fake reloads. Shit. There we go.
damn. Mm -hmm. Not gonna work. Damn, not the sniper rifle. Shoot. Lounge it is. Yes, Lost. Um, you, when you first install the game, only Fugitive Mode is unlocked. Oh. You have to beat... Uh, yeah, you have to beat Fugitive to unlock Hard Boiled. Beating Hard Boiled unlocks Dead on Arrival. And beating Dead on Arrival unlocks New York Minute. I have only beaten the game, like, ever, even back in 2001. I beat the game on Fugitive and Hard Boiled. Dead on Arrival puts in a save limit. You're only allowed to save seven times throughout the entire game. And, of course, it's way harder than Hard Boiled. And um, New York Minute, <clears throat> I never unlocked it because I never beat Dead on Arrival. But I believe that New York Minute adds time limits to each stage as well. So, yeah, it's one of those where you have to beat every difficulty to unlock the next one. is not easy, even on Fugitive. What I always say about it is it's like a... Every gunfight is like a puzzle, especially when you get to the harder levels, like Hard Boiled. Like, you have to try, and they clearly have this in mind, like, you have to save scum and try over and over and over again to figure out exactly how to shoot dodge and what weapon to use in order to kill everybody. Like, it's... It's beautiful. It's a masterpiece, even after all these years. Oh, fuck off, dude. Oh, wow, sipping on bleach. Well, I played this game back when it first came out when I was in high school, and... I just revisiting it mostly because I really, really like. I, I I just think it's great and I love the story, but I was never spectacularly good at it, like uh, like you seem to be. <laughs> But I do remember just absolutely loving it from the second I first fired it up.
Ah, yes. I remember the ending of this, too. Hi, Nicole. Oh, shit. You twat waffle. Wife murdering twat waffle. Die, hag. Ah, yes. All right. So the idea is to knock the tower over before the helicopter can land and leave. Skip. All right. I forgot we ended up with more mooks. Annoying, but. She's on board. We're out of here as soon as the wind dies down. Don't like the look of that mast. Forget. Lift off in 45 seconds. Can I not shoot through this? I really thought we could. Lift off in 45 seconds. All right, hold on. There's something I'm missing. to be some way to shoot through there. Okay, see, yes. Yeah, I can shoot through the bars. That's what I thought. I just have to find the right angle. I have an idea. Yes! Oh, okay. And then the cables are gone, too. So next is just to actually shoot the mast. Done. Fuck off, Nicole.
Yes! Extra triple double dead. Papathem, thank you so much for the bits, my friend. I appreciate it. <laughs> I love this game so much. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was all over. The storm seemed to lose its frenzy. The ragged clouds gave way to the stars above. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. We've got the building surrounded. Throw down your weapons and lie down with your hands behind your head. A bit closer to heaven. Let's well, smile. Voices were distant and muted. Freeze! NYPD! Hold it right there! My ghosts released me from their haunting. Down below, New York City glittered like diamonds on black velvet. You gave us one hell of a ride. Take him down to Central Booking. You heard the man. Woden was there in the crowd, standing by the sideline. It wouldn't be over till the man with the patch would say so. He'd say the right words. I knew he would. He'd better. Woden grinned smugly. It was the grin of a winner. Hmm. That made two of us. Congratulations. You've completed Max Payne. The New York Minute and hard-boiled gameplay modes have been unlocked for even further challenges. Credits, credits, credits! I think. Yeah, here we go. with Remedy these days. Last game of theirs I heard about was Alan Wake, which I really liked. They've got a new one coming out. They showed something at E3, if I remember right. Just a teaser, but... I didn't know Rockstar Games worked on the first one. Look at that. Novel models. <laughs> Sam Lake, Max Payne. <laughs> oh no, we've got more stream time. <laughs> we've got more stream time. I think we'll break for a little bit just to let it switch gears and then we'll roll some Pokemon.
Everyone at 3D Realms. Oh my. Max Payne has only started his journey through the night. The pain has only just begun. More will follow. From what I hear about 2 and 3, that's certainly true. Alright everybody, so the plan now is take three or four minutes, just however long it takes for Streamlabs to register that I've actually ended the stream, and then we're going to be back to Pokemon Red. I think we probably have time to at least get through the next route and through the Seafoam Islands and try to catch Articuno. So, let's do that. I... The Valkyr case was anything but closed, but I was too tired to go on. So, because this is going to be the end of the segment, I'll give my spiel, but I will be back in five minutes, I promise. Thank you so much for those of you who joined me live on Twitch. If you're watching here and you're new and you enjoy what you saw, I hope you hit the follow button so that you can see every time we go live. If you're watching later on on YouTube, I know my streams come at odd, unpredictable hours. Not today, but generally they're early in the morning. However, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you won't miss anything because every bit of my content makes its way over there. Finally, regardless of the platform you're on, I hope you will consider joining our Discord server. The link to do so is either in the YouTube video description or the Twitch channel description. The Discord is where we discuss the games you'd like to see me play. I make official announcements about the channel, and there's a fun, growing community of people who love video games just like you. Next stream, like I said, is about five minutes from now. We'll be picking up Pokemon Red. We are about to head into the sea route south of Fuchsia City toward the Seafoam Islands. I hope you'll all stick around for that. Give me five minutes, and I will see you then. Take care. I was too tired to go on. I love the way you have to... I love the quotes on the quit screen. Alright, be right back, everybody.